So what you'll need are some bobby pins, a hairbrush, because that's always handy to have when you're doing hair, a wig net or a hair net that's a similar colour to your own hair, I'm just using this black one, and a short wig that is a similar colour to your hair or the same colour as your hair. This one is just a synthetic black wig. It doesn't need to be exact because if it all goes according to plan, you won't really see these two things, so they don't have to be exact. And the final thing that you will need is a weft or two of hair extensions. This one is quite wide, so I only need one, but it kind of depends on how wide it is because you want it to sort of go across here. So I'm just using a single one from the Irresistible Me Royal Remy hair extension set. These are human hair, although synthetic would work just as well. Um, I have a discount code for the website these are from, and I will include it in the description. And I will also link the wig if I can find it. I've had it a few years, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but I'll have a look. And if I do find it, I will link it as well. So I'm just going to brush through to get rid of any tangles to start with. And now I'm going to begin by separating most of my hair from the front and just pinning it forward. So I'm just going to pin it sort of at the front of my head just because we don't want it to get caught up in any of the other things that we're pinning. Now I'm just going to take the wig and kind of fold it over on itself and place it inside the net. And it should just look something like this. So I'm going to take that and place it behind the part that I made at the back of my head. Just pin it at the front and back and a couple of times at the sides, but more the front and back. And once that's secure, which I think it's pretty good, you could always add a couple of extra ones after if it feels a little bit loose. Now what I'm going to do is take the hair extension and just pin it right in front of the wig, clipping it to my hair and kind of the wig as well. And once that's on, and smooth over the wig, like that, I'm just going to unpin this bit, and smooth it over the extension and the wig. And I think that's pretty good. You could just leave it like this if you wanted to, but what I like to do quite often is take a little bit from each side and just pin that back out of the way. So it kind of does that half up, half down look, I think is what you call it. And I never like beehives to look too perfect. And if they do, I always like to mess them up a little bit. Um, so just loosen up some hairs and muss it up a little bit. And that is pretty much that. You could also um, you could also add an accessory, you know, a hair scarf around here tied at the front or tied at the back, and it'll look kind of like a headband. You could add a flower or something like that, like a fabric flower. There's a lot of different things you can do. You can make it perfect, you can make it messy, you can do whatever you want, really. And I hope that I explained it well enough. I don't feel like I'm the greatest at hair videos explaining what I'm trying to do, but I did the best I could do. So until next time, take care, and thank you for watching, as always.